I mean, I was pleasantly surprised when I got there and I saw like a whole lot of people turn house, you know. We have right now like a, like 200% increase, if not more, in the attendance. It's uh, a very beautiful, it was a very beautiful event this morning and uh, I'm so impressed with uh, people's reaction, people's engagement, people's interaction, you know, and interest in what we are doing. And so it's encouraging us to continue in this good course because we realize that we're impacting people positively. I um, think a, a little part of the you know, population of Nigerians are beginning to see the reason why prevention is actually the only kill. People are rea realizing that they don't need to wait until they break down. That has been the, the habit, that has been the, the, the pattern before now. People don't think about going to the hospital or paying any attention to their health until they become sick. But now they are realizing that uh, <laughs> that is a, a disaster waiting to happen. So it's better we take a proactive um, you know, approach regarding our health. See our health as a, a sort of investment, something that needs our resources, our time, our effort, our focus, our attention. So that we don't use all our time in search of, uh, you know, of rising up the career ladder or making a lot of money in our entrepreneurship uh, you know, journey. And at the end of the day, we get all this money and now use it to get our health back because we have, uh, you know, gotten to where we are at the expense of our health. So people these days are looking at life in a, in a balanced you know, way whereby we do whatever it is we are doing that time but then pay the attention our health needs by being proactive, by taking preventive measures, by not waiting to fall sick before we, we go to the hospital, by not waiting to, to fall sick before we look at what we can use to, to cure ourselves or to prevent the issue from taking place in the first place. So what we, would, what we want to do is to sensitize our people, increase their awareness of preventive measures, ways to holistically look at their health so that they don't even get fall sick you know, and come to the hospital to cure it. They maintain a healthy lifestyle and a, and a, and a very beautiful um, way of living. One is regular exercise. We do not need to um, have to go and join gym. By all means, if we, if we have the means and the time, why not? But then we don't want to look at exercise as a big deal. We can take the stairs instead of using the elevator. We can do some five minutes dancing before we shower in the morning. We can walk to pick our kids or go to the grocery within the estate instead of taking a car. We need to keep our, our, our body active, moving. Exercise has a whole lot of benefits. I mean, a whole lot of benefits. But we need to know that exercise is a tip to healthy living. Second tip is a positive outlook in life. You know, maintaining happiness, maintaining inner calm and peace, controlling the way we respond to situations. Bad things, negative things are bound to happen. That is way beyond our control. But our response to it is absolutely within our control. And it's important to maintain this positive outlook. It's important to maintain a, a, a happy, happy feeling, a, a great mood all the time. It has a direct impact on our health. It has a direct impact on our risk of developing a certain disease or not. So we want to be happy. And last but not the least is supplementing our health. There are a whole lot of fantastic natural alternative these days available. Just find the uh, right information and um, get them, you know, as easy as punching um, them on Google on our phone or asking our health provider of a whole lot of supplements, natural alternatives that we can use to supplement what we are eating, to boost our immunity, to boost our energy, to boost our, our, our ability. It's not meant for the island alone. It's meant for every, 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 everywhere. Um, but we just decided to take the initiative by kickstarting and um, being consistent with the island. Because in as much as we have a whole lot of busy executives, busy people on the mainland, um, we've come to realize that a whole lot of them are on the island. You know, people that um, their activities, their schedules are you know very tight, and they really do not have time to take care of their health, to look after their health. So um, 
starting on the island is just uh, the starting point we decided to kick start from the island we're going to be eating the mainland shortly and very soon also in a very big big way so it's not just for the um, islanders but of course mainlanders are going to experience and enjoy what we have for the stock as well just the target audience alone. The, the reason why we are focusing on the top executives is because of, uh, they commit a whole lot of time, energy and effort into their work. Their work ethic is time consuming and then we discover that um, in as much as they want to be able to look out for themselves, they really do not maybe have the time to do that. So we want to educate them and help them understand that Sir, Ma, uh, despite of your very busy schedule, um, you can create some extra bit of time you know, to not just only exercise, but also get vital information by which you can indulge in and um, live not just a quality lifestyle, but also a very healthy lifestyle because health indeed is wealth. And then, um, like I said earlier today, concerning the paradox to health and wealth, um, research has shown that um, in our pursuits for wealth, the whole lot of us compromise on our health. And for the few ones that are even able to um, achieve that wealth, um, they end up spending that wealth trying to get back their health. And that is a vicious, vicious, pathetic circle that we want to put a stop to. So what are we saying? You can live, you can um, live both a healthy lifestyle and of course enjoy your wealth, living in um, the good health. Health is your responsibility. You're responsible for the outcome of your life. And then you have to take your health into your hands because your health first, your health matters most. It is only an elder person that can make so much money. Someone that is um, incapacitated or um, you know um, or is sick he is not able to even also to even make so much money. So uh, my advice again is that uh, we take our health into our hands. We indulge in activities um, that would um, help us um, live, get the, uh, the best of our health to make sure that we. We eat good food, you know, a balanced diet and proper nutrition, you know, that the body needs to function optimally, which is why um, the Vital 5 pack is a very, very essential, you know, pack that deals with the five vital organs in the system. Once you're on this and you incorporate it um, with a little bit of, you know, exercise, it might be low intensity, you know, low intensity, plus a little bit of workout, you're good to go and you're assured, you know, um, to live a very good, you know, and a healthy lifestyle. Well, I had a lot of fun. The whole thing was wonderful. That's, that's I don't really just a sign of